Hello, my lovely peeps, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, how are you? If you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. Today, we're going to be diving into the vibrant world of Pride Month and 10 best ways that you can celebrate Pride. Now, this video is for literally anyone who wants to learn more about how to celebrate Pride Month. So if you're part of the LGBTQ plus community and ally, if you are able to leave your house to celebrate, and if you can't, there's a tip for you in here somewhere in this video, I promise. Let's get into the 10 best ways you can celebrate Pride Month. Number one on this list is educating yourself. Pride Month is the perfect opportunity to dive into the LGBTQ plus history and learning more about all of that. So that includes queer people in history, their struggles, the achievements of the LGBTQ plus community, Stonewall, how labels and identities came to be, all of that kind of stuff. Learning more about it, educating yourself, watching documentaries, reading books, maybe even attending virtual workshops that are about LGBTQ plus history or people sharing their experiences. Anything that you can do to just learn more about the community and how it came to be and what it's like being queer. Number two on this list is attending pride events. So this could be virtual or it could be in person. All you got to do is check online in your area what kind of pride events are going on. I know in my area and especially within the United States, pride is a very, very big deal and every city or town for the most part will have something going on with pride. It's all about just looking to see what's happening in your area. Celebrating with people and feeling that community is what Pride Month is all about. It's one of my favorite things. Whether it is in person or virtual, I know the pandemic definitely stopped me from the last couple years from celebrating in person and I know that's still happening for a lot of people not feeling comfortable going in person to Pride events, which is completely fine, completely valid. So I know there are ways to celebrate Pride even online or virtually. All you gotta do is find out when those events are happening and you can attend. And it's also good in case you aren't out or you're still in the closet and aren't comfortable going in person, virtual pride events are a really good alternative for going in person as well. They help you be more comfortable, more safe in the privacy of your own home, but you can still have that community, that togetherness, and that celebration that pride brings. Number three is decorate for pride. So I know for me and my community here on YouTube, this is a really big thing. Getting creative and decorating your space with pride themed stuff. So like plushies, your bag, background on your computer, your clothes, flags on the walls, literally anything. Decorating your space can really help you feel that pride and get you connected to the spirit of this month. There are also more subtle ways to decorate for pride in case you aren't out as well. So something as simple as painting your nails the color of the flag that you identify with or getting pride socks and hiding them under your pants and your shoes. There are lots of ways to stealthily celebrate pride and still feel connected to the community, even if you're not as loud and out as some people are is completely valid and you're okay to celebrate pride however you want to. Number four is advocating for LGBTQ plus rights. So I know especially in this political climate it can be really really hard to see all the negative things that are happening. So getting in touch with your lawmakers and different organizations that can help make the world a better place for queer people, a safer place for queer people. I know it's really hard right now but advocating, raising your voice, sharing your story, sharing stuff on social media, just being out there as much as you can is so important. Now I do know that this isn't something everyone can necessarily do. I know for me there's only so much that I can take when it comes to the news and seeing all of the negative things that's happening. There are always little things you can do to show support and if you need to take a mental health break from that kind of stuff it is completely okay. You don't always have to be an advocate, but just letting people know, hey, yo, this is it. It's a good way to celebrate pride if you are mentally able to do so. I know it's not the best for everyone's mental health and it is okay to take a social media break if that is something that really, really affects you. Five is shopping from LGBTQ plus owned businesses. Now we all love a good corporate pride. <laughs> 
merch from our different favorite stores. However, it is always best to support LGBTQ plus businesses during Pride Month and not just give it to big corporations. I know it's harder to do, you gotta do a little bit more research, but I promise you, it makes such a difference for these businesses and it goes a long, long way, especially if Pride Month is a big month for them. So you can support these businesses by purchasing their products or services, also sharing them on social media, letting people know, hey yo, here's a really cool LGBTQ owned business for Pride Month, go support. And our community is so incredibly talented. There are all different kinds of businesses that are owned by LGBTQ plus people. So anything from clothing to art, to home decor, to candles, to dog supplies, anything you can think of, I guarantee you there's a queer owned business for that and it would really, really help just support them during this month. I'm also going to link below some LGBTQ plus businesses in the description if you want to check them out please do so support this month it's really really good and a very easy way just to like check them out and see what they're about number six on this list is volunteer for lgbtq plus causes so reaching out during pride month to your lgbtq plus organizations volunteering this could look like anything honestly so this could be volunteering at an event a fundraiser a mentorship just volunteering any of your time this this month is really really helpful and can also bring you a lot of community as well working with other queer people getting to know them and their stories and you'd be making a direct positive impact on the community while doing so number seven is sharing your personal stories now this is only for people who are comfortable with doing this you don't always necessarily have to share your story if you are not comfortable. Sharing your story is such an incredible experience. Being open and honest about your experience as a queer person during this month can be really, really empowering. And if you're not comfortable with sharing your story, you can always share other people's stories as well on social media, sharing them and letting other people be educated through their voices and amplifying their voices if you're not necessarily comfortable with sharing your own. Number eight on this list is consider donating to LGBTQ plus charities. This is only if you are financially able to do so, if you are in a good spot, because I know there are a lot of people out there struggling right now, especially in this economy. However, if you are able to make any kind of donation this month, it is so important to do so, especially because there are so many organizations trying to fight against different legislatures and lawmakers who are trying to essentially get rid rid of queer people so it's important that if you can donate in a financial way that you do again i know this isn't for everyone i know times are hard right now your donations to these organizations can help provide resources support and advocacy for the queer community and also helping queer individuals depending on which organization that you donate to number nine is being an ally so if you are not part of the lgbtq plus community the most important thing that you can do this month is be a good ally. Now, what does this mean? This means standing up against discrimination and, and homophobia, transphobia that you are seeing not only in real life, but also online and actively supporting your LGBTQ plus family members. This also means asking queer individuals in your life specifically how you can support them this month. Everybody's answer is going to be different. Asking that queer person in your life, hey, it's Pride Month, what can I do to be a better ally? What can I do to help? It's always a really good idea. And also just remember not to make it about you and trying to be like, I'm the best ally in the whole wide world. Just genuinely support the queer people in your life as best as possible. Be there for them. It's a hard time right now for a lot of queer people. I know I'm having a hard time right now. So just being there for them and genuinely caring about them as a human being. That, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Be a good ally. <laughs> the final best way to celebrate Pride Month is to keep the pride spirit all year long. Pride Month is a wonderful time to celebrate and amplify queer voices, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be doing that all year long. Remember that we are still fighting for acceptance and equality. All of these negative things that happen to the queer community 
don't just happen in June, they happen all year long. You keep that momentum, you're still posting about queer stuff all year long, you're still talking about queer stuff all year long, you still educate yourself and try to be better. It's not just a one month out of the year kind of thing, it is a year long thing so that we can hopefully make the world a more accepting, better, loving, inclusive space. Kind of wraps up our 10 best ways to celebrate Pride Month. Just remember that no matter how big or small, celebrating Pride Month is a personal thing and every act of support counts. And together we can create a more inclusive, accepting, wonderful place for not only queer people, but everyone in general. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think. Also let me know how you're celebrating celebrating Pride Month, if you've gone out to events, if you're donating, if you're making cute little pride bracelets, that kind of stuff. I love hearing about that and I love hearing how every queer person celebrates Pride differently. Thank you again for watching. I hope this helps someone out there and yeah, happy Pride. I absolutely love this month. There is no wrong way to celebrate Pride. It's all about celebration and wonderfulness in this beautiful community that we have. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!